first things first in the morning. Plan out the little day. So always have a little plan of what we're going to get done. Then, get all the, get all the supplements out ready. Make sure there's some fresh coffee. We all need some fresh coffee in the morning. Usually I like to do a little bit different with the coffee though, to be honest with you. Like, I don't like to have it every day. Rest days, try and keep off coffee, just because it's a stimulant. Rest days, I'm trying to relax. So yeah, we'll bash on with some nutrition as well. Get that done today. So give the breakdown importance of nutrition and also, you know, make sure that, I feel that people need to understand that the nutrition is making sure the body gets all the vitamins, all the minerals, all the energy that you need for that day so you can conquer your day. You know, if you're not giving your body the best that it needs, you know, you're selling yourself short and you're not being your best of your ability, whether that's whether that's just in family, whether that's in your life and work, whether that's in your goals, you know, your nutrition, unfortunately, I'm here to tell you today is, it is everything, it is so, so important. So um, I'm gonna show you some prep today and make sure that you understand the importance of nutrition and also how to simply break it down as well. Um, you know, you don't have to be running around with your phone trying to work out calories you know you can really be um once you've educated yourself on nutrition you can really break things down by just looking at them and maybe just giving them a rough way out and things like that um so hopefully this you can get lots of benefits for these guys and you know take it into your own personal goals as well obviously something that we always do and you know what don't mind my kitchen i'm, I'm a lad we don't keep things super tidy as in the kitchen department so what i'm going to do today is just run you through uh, my morning routine, supplements, hydration, what I'm eating for breakfast at the moment. I'm currently um, seven to eight weeks out from my first first fight in uh, MMA. So what the crack is there is I need to get to 205 pounds. I'm 220 now. So we're just slowly bringing everything down. Um, what I'm really enjoying at the moment is high fats, uh, especially in the breakfast. Um, just a little bit of carbs as well, nothing too crazy. Um, but our fats and our you know amino acids, especially are all coming from a steak. We're getting eggs in there uh, for our protein, and then obviously we've got coconut oil there for some extra fats. I'm going to cook that steak in there, and then um, again, I put some almonds and some walnuts in with our oats. So. What I'm really wanting for my breakfast is I wanting a lot of high energy, high fats, you know, I want to keep my natural testosterone nice and high and this is the way to do it. You know, we've got our steak here, eggs are just absolutely phenomenal and everything else for keeping the testosterone and then obviously going into the fats as well. Um, and again, you know, look at how, um, look at how, sorry, look at how walnuts are made as well functioning for the brain and, and something that you'll see in, in today's uh, clips obviously when I'm not training um, it's client work it's replying to clients it's making sure that they're on point and then if it's not that it's making sure that I can get content out there for people um, as well just so they can relate and just be motivated for people as well so when I'm not doing this sort of thing that's what I'm doing so let's just go through with um, the supplement now for the day so usually when I get up as well First and foremost, it's hydration. Now, the reason why I'm having coconut water as soon as we get up, it's just full of potassium, full of the minerals in, and everything else that I need as well. So rather than drinking empty water, I want to make sure that my body's getting some sort of hydration um, early doors. Sometimes when you can just, especially when you're having a coffee in the morning as well, you know, you, you, you're you having just water itself, you just, pissing it out empty so I like to make sure that we get some coconut water in keeps energy levels nice and high what I find as well is it's good for muscle contraction you know as well if you're running if you're getting cramps and things like that that will tell me that you're probably lacking in minerals as well so keep nice and high in there with the energy levels there too so what I usually do as well just pour a little glass nothing too crazy and then um, I'll take my supplements alongside my meals so we've got a multivitamin here as well supplement needs they're i'm not sponsored by them to be honest with you but they are the best brand uh, in my opinion we sell them in the gym at urban as well so if you need any supplementation there get yourself down at urban we've got plenty there or 
if we haven't got any in stock, then you can always just head to their website for good needs. So we're just taking a multivitamin first off. Nothing too crazy. Again, just want to make sure that we start our day, um, making sure that we've got everything prepared. And that goes for everything in life, really. You know, you need to be organised with everything as well. 5-HTP, very good for sleep, very good for keeping you calm and just keeping us nice and happy as well. Um, very good for um, your sleep, this, and just keeping you nice and chilled out. But we're going to take round about 200 milligrams of this. I think as well as it increases serotonin into the body, so that is a, a feel-good chemical that we're all about. So we've got 200 grams there. Now this is, again... Vitamin D and K2, so it helps clear plaque within the arteries and also very good for our immune system and then again, keeping our natural testosterone nice and high. So you might hear me a lot talking about natural testosterone and to be honest with you, um, it's something that is drastically, drastically dropping in males. Now this is again mountain blood, I don't know if you can quite see it there, but I'm not even going to pronounce that word because I'm going to sound like a tit. And I'm just not feeling vulnerable today. I'm just not feeling that type of type of skittiness around you folks. So I'll serve, save the um, the save the heartache of me trying to pronounce that with my dyslexia. So I'll just call it mountain blood. <laughs> so basically, give you a bit of background on this anyway. It's, uh, it's from a rock in the Himalayas, um, and it's scraped out. And as you can see, there's not much left, but it's basically like tar, and you do really have to scrape it out um, into a little cup, which we're going to do here, so just scrape it out of the bottom, you don't need much at all, however, again, this is really good for your mineral intake, so I'm putting a little bit in there, I'm going to boil the kettle, and what I mix it is with is changa as well, now again, there's only a little bit left there, because I absolutely butched these as well, now changa, I've done a little bit of research on this, it's from, uh, it's from mushrooms and anything that the body's usually lacking or anything that's got too much of, it's, it, balances, it balances everything out. It's also one of the best products you can use in superfoods for anti-aging and keeping you young and fresh. So anything that's going to help my body keep me young, keep me good for fighting, keep me good for just longevity and keep me doing what I love, training and everything else, I'm going to get a hold of. I've used a lot of supplements in the past. Now, I've just found that these five, very basic, but everything I'm after, so I'm just gonna stick to that. And they feel really good. Like, how do you feel when you're using your supplements? Do you even understand why you're taking them? Do you know what I mean? Like, what do you, what does your body require? Or are you just taking them because some ad told you, told you to? Be very specific with what you're doing, with what you're taking. Don't just listen to the person next to you. You know, break it down, see what you need, see what you're lacking, listen to, listen to your body. So, you know, I knew I needed all this um, because obviously changing from bodybuilding and um, coming off PEDS and things like that um, last year, it was really important that I made sure that my mineral intake and my body had everything it needed in order to support my hormones and everything else. So that's why I'm taking this. Um, and, you know, even with this, I found with bodybuilding, I was quite, uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and say it, quite, Quite depressed to be honest with you um, when you're doing something that you I was always passionate about the gym passionate about training but when I was doing what I was doing it was making me feel not so great um, and obviously that was something that I wanted to sort of combat and help out help myself the best and maybe my brain wasn't you know functioning or giving them you know getting the chemicals that it needed the serotonin and the dopamine and everything else maybe that was cancelling out a little bit as well with me not 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 feeling so great so these little um these little supplements are going to help you out so there's this and ashwagandha which is very good for helping the body adapt to stress now ashwagandha if you look at the studies as well is phenomenal for boosting your natural testosterone don't have that currently here at the moment and i won't lie to you i haven't been taking it for a period of time however that is something that i would recommend getting in stock and that is something that i'm going to get in stock you know you'll see today i have a busy life so usually when i'm just well, using what I've got here um, and anything that I've got on mind, I'll just have to get in when I've, when I've got the time. So we just pour it in there. It's like a small, real small drop. I'm just going to mix it up. It's fucking digging. 
Like it's disgusting. And this is what people need to understand. Anything that's minging or anything that's hard, right? I'll just give you a cold, a, a nice example. Get a cold shower in the morning, right? It's disgusting. No one enjoys it. I, I'm, not even Wim Hof enjoys it, I bet you. I bet you he really doesn't like the cold. I bet you he'd much rather be in the heat and in the sun. However, <laughs> what does it do to your body after it makes you feel good? So some form of sacrifice will always make you feel good. It's like when you're eating vegetables and you really don't like them, they're good for you. Do you know what I mean? So this is the same thing. It's like tar and it's not very nice, but um, it is really beneficial for you. You'll feel energy, you feel energized, and bead over you. You feel a lot stronger as well. So look at that. Disgusting. Absolute disgustingness. So give a good stir. And that is us prepped, ready to go. You know, I don't like nowadays how dieting is actually just like it's 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 called dieting, like that's what I mean. It's like eating what the food you need is actually got a name for it. It's it's crazy, I think, in my opinion. It's like now that I'm so into my nutrition with uh, in regard to what I'm doing, and I just feel like wow, shouldn't we always be eating for what the body needs? You know, we 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 just take into account that we just we're so for the moment as people we just eat what's nice and what's in front of us because it's easy. Do you know what I mean? When we can just take the time, prep a little bit, give the body what it needs, then you're gonna have really, really good energy levels. And you'll like, you'll hit your targets, whatever you need, because you're giving yourself that organization and everything that it actually needs for the day. So, without further ado, let's get to the steak. So nice and simple, don't put anything too crazy on the steak. You know what you'll find is I'll use this a lot. Pink Himalayan salt. Now, I had a message on Instagram actually, and I think it was um, it was a bodybuilder, and he was getting cramps. He was getting cramps, and he was wanting to know, like, why was he getting so many cramps? Now, usually, if you're getting cramps in the gym and things like that, I would initially say it's something to do with your sodium or your potassium. So, you're gonna get a lot of potassium from your nuts as well, coconut water, Himalayan salt. And you'll feel energized as well. Now, if you're drinking caffeine, a lot of caffeine throughout the day, you've got to bear in mind that caffeine will 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 dehydrate you. And alongside your um, that dehydrating you, a lot of minerals are going to be going with that. So just bear that in mind. If you're not having a lot of salt on your foods or anything like that, just just please bear that in mind. And, and again, why is Himalayan salt better than normal table salt? This has got way, way more minerals in, you know what I mean? This has got way, way more minerals in your little tiny tea, um, table salt. So, I'll get this loaded. I'm gonna do a big, big dab of coconut oil. You know, as, as well as like, people ask me is, do I, do I track, do I track my nutrition? Do I even look at the calories? The answer is no, I don't do that. I used to, but not anymore. What I do is simple for for um, for fighting and training at the moment. What I do is I have about four meals per day. Nothing too crazy, you know. I don't really like eating super often because of how busy I am. So I like to have about about four, usually biggish meals. Meal one is super packed with protein and fats. Um, a little bit of carbohydrates, obviously with the oats, and then um, from then on, um, from then on after that, it'll be I'll, I'll introduce carbohydrates later on in the day. What I've found is as well is if you're kind of an anxious person, or you've got anxiety or anything like that, please, please, please make sure you get your breakfast in because it's super important for for balancing out your blood sugar levels and everything else. Um, you know, fats are going to help, you know, reduce the spike as well there because it helps balance out blood sugar levels. It also um, slows everything down a little bit as well. So you don't get that initial, do you know what I mean? You just everything balances out and you're a lot more chilled throughout the day. So if you're an anxious person and you're skipping breakfast, 
and you're wondering why as you go on through the day it only gets worse and then when you're sipping coffee on top of that hell <laughs> you're gonna be um, you're gonna be running into some problems so for me breakfast is super super important super important it's good every once in a while to have a fast have a clean out and everything else but um, if you've got purpose and you want to do things and you've got goals breakfast is, is round about where you need to be so in, in regards to my nutrition as well and people might say well how do you know you're in a calorie deficit or how do you know how many calories are burning listen i don't track that i don't wear a watch i don't care how many calories i'm burning i'm just going each day and this is all you need to do with your mindset as well is and especially you've got you know what you're doing if you know what you're doing training wise you know what you've got to get done you know what you've done last week right all you can do is better the training beforehand that's pretty simple so all you can do is just be better than the week before and if i know if i'm giving maximum effort to that training session as well then i'm gonna be in a deficit by the end of the day and I don't care if a watch tells me I've burnt 500 calories in my workout. I ain't gonna go back, right, outside when I've just busted a gut and I've given it my all because my watch told me I burnt 100 calories less than the session before. It's getting madness with, with, with things like that. And I personally, personally don't think it's doing anyone's head any favors. Uh, you know, having to see how many calories they burnt during the workout because how, how accurate is that? Do you know what I mean? How is it? Is it even giving you the right number? I don't think so, my opinion. So let's whack this on. I've got a stinking stage on. So. It's a nice sirloin cut as well. You know what I mean? That's a decent. Where do they get this steak from? Morrison's. I'll give you a little shout out, Morrison. Maybe you'll remember me when I've got more than two followers. <laughs> so we've got a nice fine duck egg as well. So usually, again, look how much bigger that is. We're gonna have a lot more nutrition in there. Great, great stuff for fats, protein, amino acids. So we're just gonna get that in there. Just make it a perfect. Look at that, look at that. Because I'm now in full control of like my nutrition training, like I use coaches for everything. For everything I do, I'll get a coach. Why? Because um, I don't really have a match. You know, in, in terms of, well, I do have an ego. Everyone has an ego. I won't deny that. But in terms of wanting to know and to get better, like I don't know um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You know, that's why I've got JP, and he's my coach for that. You know, wrestling, MMA, we've got Ben Ra for that. Stand-up boxing, we've got Dave for that. Uh, just grind, and then obviously I'll go to the classes as well. I've got sparring on Saturdays. I do my own weight training sessions, and, and body work, and core work, and balance work. Um, and I do my own nutrition, so, you know, I do have a coach for the things that I'm um, obviously learning in and wanting to learn a lot more in. You know, I'm always trying to better myself in nutrition, learning things more, getting on courses. So, in regards to like when it's a really busy week, um, what I'm doing with my nutrition, what I'll usually do is carbohydrates will be. I'll keep them. I'll keep them in and nice and high on a on a training day. Non-training days, that's when we re reduce carbohydrates down, reduce calories down a little bit. Still keep the fats where they're at. Um, but because we're not training or using as much energy expenditure, uh, I want carbohydrates to be a little bit less as well, just to remain still in a deficit. So the idea is to re remain in a deficit each day. So even on a on a on a non-training day, I want a, my body to recuperate, to rest. But we're just going to reduce that a touch and just making sure that I can uh, obviously get get the nutrition I need to recover for the next session. So that that's really important. And, I just have a really good intuition with my with my body and what it needs itself. You know, if I wake up one day, one morning, and I just feel a little bit flat, a little bit lack of energy, 
I'm not going to carbohydrates right away. I'll, I'll go to the fats, um, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll play it out through the day. So if I feel like I'm still a little bit knackered or whatever, then I'll start to maybe increase the carbohydrates a little bit more. So it's always about listening to your body, but you know, that's why it's great to have a coach to work alongside nutrition because this, this is the pit where people struggle the most. People can train, people can do everything else, but have you got the discipline to do this? This is next level and that's what bodybuilding really drummed into me because I can't slack with this unless I wouldn't be in shape, unless I'd be slacking, you know, and it's the same what I'll go for, you know, fighting in MMA, it's like doing the weight cut right, making sure that I've got enough energy levels for my training session, um, and then obviously making sure that I'm still in a deficit and still being able to reduce the overall body weight itself. And again, it's different for fighting than it is for bodybuilding, um, completely different. Because obviously I, I want to try and make sure that um, my muscles <laughs> my muscles need to be full and popping for bodybuilding, do you know what I mean? It's different if you want to build muscle and everything else. This is purely for energy levels, purely for making me feel aggressive. Do you know what I mean? Like you can, you, the food you eat can really, really monitor how you're, how you're feeling emotionally as well. I always find high fats, um, high fatty foods and everything else can make you feel really energized, really aggressive, really up for the task. Um, and, that, and that's what I've really found with it. So that's why I'm sticking to that. Um, and lowering the carbohydrates a little bit more than I would when I was bodybuilding just because I'm finding that running off this energy is very good for my hormones and everything else so that's where we're, that's where we're at with that so as well as I like to keep myself right I've got this little monster here <laughs> so anyway young Brucey if anyone wants to know what young Bruce has he's on tripe and chicken for his, his afternoon meal and then we've got a good vomp. So this is I don't know, my mate who's into dogs, Mike. Uh, he uh, he suggested this. So this is from Norway. Apparently they've got cleaner. What is it? Cleaner. I don't know. Cleaner cleaner butchers to get the meat anyway. So I can't remember what they call it. So I won't try and think. So if anyone wants to know what my dog's on, is on a mixture of all meats, bones, chicken, things like that. And then he's on uh, chicken and tripe for later on. So yeah, disgustingness, but gotta give the dog the best food he needs, don't you? <laughs> so we've just got our oats. Raw flaked coconuts. Just look nice. Just look really nice and refreshing so far. Perfect for oats, just get them in. So. Anything like that sitting there. So we've got almonds. Uh, oh, as a bodybuilder, this is really interesting. You know, I know I, I know I like, I'll always love bodybuilding. I'll always help bodybuilders out. Something that I, I, I really enjoyed at the time, just wasn't for me. You know, I wanted a different path. However, I know some bodybuilders, right? You stink at night time. You sweat in the bed, right? And you're kidding yourself if you're not. I know you are. So if you wanted to help out with that, almonds in your last meal will help, you know, eliminate the smell. <laughs> that sounds disgusting to normal people, but you are just basically piglets. Um, and you know, you get a lot of night sweats, things like that. Almonds are fantastic for reducing that or helping it at least. for fucking master chef either like i try i would i would love to put photos on instagram and stuff of my food and stuff to be honest with you but i think people just think it's come straight out of jail um i mean you'd be doing well if you get steak in jail like but it's not pretty is what i'm trying to get at. try to find a nice bowl as well here we are 
Also, with my breathing as well today, it's quite interesting. I've only just discovered my nose. I so I apologise because it might not seem it, but it's broke. Um, just to give you a bit of a background story on it. So I don't obviously pick my nose, but I had to, <laughs> to see if it was broke. So I've just put my finger in my nose over there, just to see. And the inside of it is now over there. That's some bits over here. So I can't breathe out this side of my nostril. So it's part of the life, I suppose, of <laughs> what I'm trying to do. So it comes with the, comes with the job, that sort of stuff. <laughs> so again, that's probably really watery for a lot of people. But again, I am not asked. Not bothered, I have it watery. It's easily digested. It's not like, thick and everything else, it's not taking me 20 minutes to eat, I can just drink it basically. First things first in the morning, once we've got breakfast done, um, once we've got organised or nearly done, usually I'll get halfway through breakfast and I'm already thinking like I need to reply to my clients, make sure they're all sound and, and, and everything else. So um, Lewis at the moment, one of my clients is prepping for a fight at the moment, so he's in really, really good conditioning, you can see. Um, fit healthy abs are through and everything else and i know that means oh, i know that means nothing really for a fight but it, what it shows is he's he's prepped well he's in good shape he's stuck to his nutrition and he's got himself in uh in a really good uh really good shape for the fight all round. so with lewis what i need to make sure was that his energy levels were nice and high for the fight uh, and also make sure that the weight cut wasn't extreme or anything like that you know you had to be 13 free and I think we started at maybe 14, something like that. So it wasn't a lot to come off, but rather than waiting for two weeks out to a week out um, and then doing an extreme weight cut and losing water and everything else, you know, we just, we brought it down by via being in a deficit uh, with nutrition, making sure that the, his body got everything it needed. And then when he gets to the fight, uh, I have no doubts about it, it'll knock him out. Really simple. Uh, he's, a, he's a talented lad. As for the a lots of lads down at that gym, you know, there's a really uh, I won't I won't say any more names in regards to that. The the, the lads will speak for themselves when they fight. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting with Lewis. You know, making sure that he makes weight and then also making sure that he performs really well. Um, you know, as for other clients, like a lot of lifestyle clients, again, you know, just little things like they'll message me in the morning and they maybe have a question or anything like that, what they need training wise, what they maybe need for that day or, you know, even sharing like a win, like, uh, like for instance, someone's messaged me here, Lauren's messaged me, she's done some cold water, she's done a swim yesterday, you know, and just having that sort of communication with clients is, is really important. So, you know, sharing the wins, like she's done 30 minutes swimming and then she also does some cold water after that. You know, this is the sort of things I really want to see clients do. I'm, I'm interested in my clients, you know what I mean? I want to see what progress they're making, what extra work they're doing. You know, that this sort of communication is, is perfect for me because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing how they're adapting. I don't like clients who just sort of like, although we have just a check-in Friday, uh, it's a heavily detailed check-in. We go through a lot in regards to the week. I also tell clients like, ask an educational question alongside that. And then also I want to know your goals for the week as well as me setting your goals because I want to see what I want to see what aspirations you have for yourself. Because if I see that their goals are very minimal for that week, I can think, right, okay. I know I need to need to spare you on a little bit. I know I need to make sure that you're challenging yourself a little bit more um, as well. Which is super, super important. And then everything, anything through the week communication wise. You know, it might be a video that I'm, I'm getting receiving for a client and they want to know a certain form for a specific exercise and I can get right back to them. So um, always do this in the morning um, and any later on messages, obviously at night time or something like that, I'll always get back to in the morning and uh, give a speedy reply. So just making sure everyone's prepped, you know, seeing what clients are doing, seeing how they're winning. Um, and yeah, just keeping a good communication with them, keep them going through. And the, I think that's why we get the transformations we do at AJW Coaching because, you know, I'm heavily involved with the clients, making sure that they're getting everything done, 
you know, communicating with the wins, celebrating the wins, positivity brings more. I mean, I have clients who've came to me and they've basically said that, like, you know, when they've said something's gone wrong in the week, the coaches will get at them and say, like, why did you do that? Whereas me is, I'm very understanding. I don't, I obviously don't um, let sort of that happen consistently over time. I'm just very human and I know, this, I understand that people are not, it's not always going to be 100%. You know, I'll give an example. Some, For instance, someone's super busy with work, super busy with children, they've got goals themselves. Right, I couldn't make it to the gym this weekend. I need some home workouts. We're there. Right, there you go, there's home workouts. You know, sometimes the coaches will say, oh, well, um, yeah, well, you have to wait maybe a week or two for that while I get it done because I'm so busy. You know, these are the coaches, right, who have a hundred amount of clients and they just don't have the time. So they need to give you one word answer replies because that's all they have the time for. So I'm making sure that clients are fully prepared for the week. They've got everything they need and then I'm settled. Then I'm settled, ready to go. And I think that's really important. So we get organized, make sure everyone else is okay. And then we, we, we roll with the day and then I'm, I'm in a good mood for the rest of the day then.